Welcome to a day in the life of the praying mantis. You will soon learn that the praying mantis has two very different types of personality. The first one I like to call Puss and Boots, due to their adorable faces and mischievous ways. The second one I like to call Dr. Evil, due to his malicious and sinister ways. There are over 2,000 species of mantis in the world. They are typically found in tropical regions but can also be found in temperate areas. These insects come in all colors and sizes, such as these yellow ones here. This little guy is yellow because he loved bananas so much, he decided to become one. Wait, what? That's not true. Who the hell wrote this? The praying mantis falls into the class Insecta, aka insects, and its genus is the mantis. Beyond contrary beliefs, these mantises are not exactly religious. They got their names from the position of its forelimbs. When standing still, their two front arms are resting in a position that looks as if they are knees deep in prayer. Oh, look at these little guys having fun. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Holy shit! He just eat that dude? They have pretty much two hunting strategies. The first is to wait next to flower or grass using camouflage until something that they can eat is in their vicinity. The second way is similar to that of a lion. They will slowly and quietly stalk their prey until they are close enough to strike. They attack by using their razor sharp claws on both of their front arms. These arms pin their prey down so the mantis can eat their appendages one by one then work their way up to its body till it finally reaches its head. Mind you, their prey is still alive while they are devouring their prey's body. Sometimes, the mantis just chooses to eat the head first. I guess it depends on the mood the mantis is in. The praying mantis has a super advanced chewing system. To better understand it, imagine your teeth have another row of teeth on each tooth that acts as a chainsaw that can break through body armor and rip your prey to pieces. The praying mantis is not one that tries to avoid predators. When it is not hunting or looking for a mate, it's standing still, blending in with its surroundings waiting for food to come to him. Well, I guess they're always hunting. When a predator approaches the praying mantis, the praying mantis will most likely attack first because they're just that badass. The praying mantis eats any insects, mites, birds, frogs, lizards, and soft shell turtles, anything up to three times their size. Did I mention they have five eyes? They can also rotate their head 180 degrees. This means they have excellent vision. I mean, if they didn't, that would kind of mean evolution gave them the short end of the stick. They have two large compound eyes on each side of their head. The other three are normal eyes that lie in the middle of their head. The praying mantis has one of the oddest mating rituals known to science. During sex, if the female gets bored or hungry, she will eat the head of the male sometimes along with the rest of his body. They do this to get extra proteins for their bit. Damn it, is this even true? Did someone else write this? Was it Thomas? Oh, sorry people. A female mantis does this to gain extra protein for their babies that will soon be in their womb. It actually allows them to lay more eggs. And as an attempt to stay alive, the male will try to do two things. One, they will look for a male that is currently eating and Maybe. try to mate with whoa what the hell and try to mate with her and two he will rub his antennas on the female's back and try to keep her calm as you can see this doesn't always work now you would think that after they get their heads chewed off that sex would be over well you're wrong a male praying mantis has a separate brain in his tail that turns on when the head is eaten off this improves males performance by speeding up the motion of the ocean if you catch my drift they could even last for several hours after decapitation I wonder if females do this on purpose for their own guilty pleasure. Whoa, is that a threesome? The praying mantis is not oh my god, he is destroying that lizard. The praying mantis is non-venomous. It relies solely on its Mahamalati fighting skills to catch prey. Having said that, they typically have pleasant encounters with you. Whoa. Now, the same cannot be said for cats. For cats are assholes. And being that the praying mantis whoa, is a gangster, they will not back down from a fight with a cat. Check me out. Damn, 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 damn. Hey, hey. Look 
Get my down. Down. What's up?